Night Football, Ravens, Bucks, ESPN, ABC. I've got a free play in this game with analysis for you coming up. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down your 815 Eastern game this Monday night, your national TV tilt on ESPN and ABC, Ravens at Buccaneers. And on the surface right now, a Baltimore's about a three and a half point road favor. The line, the look at line was as high as five. Came down a bit after New Orleans put up over 50, or Tampa, meanwhile, put up over 50 points in New Orleans last week. Total has also risen quite a bit uh, from the 46-47 range up to 49.5. So a little bit of money on the Bucks and the over. Of those two moves, though, I definitely agree with the over, and I think that's the play in this game on Monday night. In fact, uh, 49.5, there's still value. 50 is a dead number. 49 is a dead number, too. 51 is the key number. And as long as this remains below 51, which it looks like it will, we get some solid line value. My projections have this game in the mid to high 50 range. So at 49 and a half, there's definitely value still with the over. And these are two offenses that can definitely put up some points. I mentioned the 51 points last week against New Orleans on the road. That's pretty impressive. But giving up 27 is not impressive. In fact, uh, Tampa's now given up 63 points the last two weeks against Atlanta and New Orleans on the road. And they're facing an even better Baltimore offense this Monday night. Baltimore's clicking on all cylinders offensively this season, averaging just under 30 points a game, over 7 yards per play, nearly 6 yards per rush. They've been running the ball fantastic, and they should have plenty of success on the ground against a weak Tampa Bay run defense that's given up 4.7 yards per carry. Uh, Ravens do throw the ball well also, 8.5 yards per pass, and uh, Tampa's been good against the pass, but not great. This is a huge step up in class as Tampa's opponents have averaged just 7, Baltimore averages 8.4. So Ravens should be able to move the ball here on Monday Night Football on the road. But I think Tampa's going to get some points as well. Uh, Tampa Bay averaging just under 26 points a game and over 6.5 yards per play this season. And the weakness for Baltimore is that pass defense. And Tampa, Baker, Mayf Baker Mayfield and company could take advantage. Tampa's averaging 7.3 yards per pass against teams that allow just 6.4. Baltimore's given up 7.5 yards per pass this season. Now, they did hold rookie Jaden Daniels in check a little bit last week, but still gave up 253 passing yards. So I look for both quarterbacks to have success through the air. I look for Baltimore to definitely have success on the ground as well. Don't overthink it, and the line is still cheap. Over 49.5, Ravens, Bucks, over the total, Monday Night Football, 8.15 Eastern on ESPN and ABC. Hey, comment below. What are your thoughts on this game? Side, total, player props. What are you looking at? Obviously, I like a lot of the offensive player props over because I like the over itself in this game. I think both offenses can move the ball. What are your thoughts on some player props? Drop some specific names below. Let's learn and earn and win together here on Wager Talk TV. By the way, I do read all the comments and I reply back. Thumbs up, like. If you're liking these free videos, I'm trying to do all the spotlight like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, national TV games and college football during the week. Also, your Sunday, Monday night NFL games here. If you're finding it useful, comment below because I read the comments. But also a thumbs up like is greatly appreciated. And I will keep these free play videos coming. Don't forget also to subscribe and click the bell for instant alerts so you know when they are posted each and every week. Now, these free plays are nice. A lot of times these TV games are just light lean. Sometimes they make my best bet card. Uh, but if you're serious about winning, you really need to be playing the best bets for several reasons. First of all, they're the strongest plays. Duh, right? That's why they're called best bets. But the numbers are just off the chart. In fact, we entered this past weekend on an 8 and 1, 89% run, up over 170 units all sports this calendar year, number one at Wager Talk on best bets. That's football, baseball, and basketball combined. And there's still almost two months to go, over two months remaining. How would you like to get the rest of this year for free? Well, you can do so, but that offer is about to expire after Monday night. You buy 2025, the one year all access, I give you an instant $200 discount. And then as an added bonus, I'm giving you the rest of 2024, the next two months plus, for free. It's a fantastic value. It gets it down to about a dollar per play for every football, baseball, college, and pro best bet for the next 365 days and nights, plus the rest of this year for free. That's over 14 months. It's a fantastic offer. If you've been sitting back and watching winter after winter pass you by, and if you've been doing so, by the way, over the past month, because we just continue to win, then now is the time to get on board. Don't try to time the market. We're not going to win every play or every week. But we do win a lot more than we miss. I've been doing this for 29 straight years as a full-time professional handicapper, and it's quite simple. If I have a play, my clients get it as well at wagertalk.com, and I'm very selective. Average anywhere from one to three plays per day. You know, one to two during the weeknights, maybe three to four on Saturday and Sundays when it's a heavier card. The point is, though, I'm very selective, and the selectivity pays off. Proof is in the profits. 
plus 170 units of all sports already this year. And you can get the rest of the uh, 2024 calendar year, the next two months plus for free when you sign up for 2025. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Now, if you want football only, I do have two special football promo codes for you football only clients. Uh, the rest of college for $299, NFL for $399. Those offers expire as well after Monday night. Uh, so there are some football only specials. But once again, it really is a great deal. The rest of this year free when you get next year. And it'll also ensure that you're taking a consistent investment approach. Clients are up over 170 units already this calendar year. Hey, speaking of basketball, it starts on Tuesday night this week. Coming up this week, NBA starts. I'm number one all-time in NBA profits, including the last three years combined in the NBA. Baseball's been red hot, 31-13, and 13 finished to the regular season. Football entered this past weekend, 27-14 and 14 on best bets this regular season. They ranked number one in all those categories. Uh, and this is the only time of year the next few weeks we get football, baseball, and basketball all going at once. It's another great reason to get the rest of this year for free with that All Sports All Access special. By the way, I recap all the best bets. If you want to follow along, there's the last 20 rolling recap daily on my previous best bets at the bottom of the page. You can click on each one, too, to read the analysis to see how I do things. You can learn and earn as you're building your bankroll. And be sure to check out that daily free play. Being selective means my last cuts are pretty strong still, and I post those free plays throughout the week for you on my page along with those promo codes. So go check it out. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, and get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on X and Instagram. I'm trying to get more active on Instagram on IG, so be sure you follow me. I'll keep doing videos there as well if you're finding them useful. Um, as always, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L. At Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free content coming up next.